Good day. Welcome to basic science class. Today we are going to be discussing work, energy, and power. My name is Jimo Asikirula Adio. Let's proceed. Introduction. Work, energy, and power are related to each other. When you work, run, write, dance, etc., you are said to be doing work. And performing this, all these works, all this action, energy is said to be involved. And power is the rate of doing work. Work. Work is said to be done when a force produces emotion. Work done on an object is the product of average force applied on the object and distance travel in the direction of force. That is, mathematically, it can be expressed as work done equal to force times distance. And note, the SI unit of work is in joule. Let's look at this example. A 50 kg bag of rice was lifted through distance of 10 meter. What is the work done in lifting the bag, given that G equal to 9.8 meter per second square? Solution. Whenever you are asked to do something like this, firstly itemize what you are given in your question, that is the parameters, where you have mass, which is equal to M, which is equal to 50 kilogram, G equal to 9.8 meter per second square, distance equal to 10 meter and work W equal to work, which is what you are asked to calculate. Therefore, force equal to mass times acceleration, which is equal to 50 times 9.8, which is equal to 490 Newton. And work equal to FD, that is force times distance. And we have already calculated for our force. Therefore, we will have our work done to be for 90 times 10 which is equals to 4900 joule which can also be converted to 4.9 kg kg rather which is uh, since 1000 joule equal to 1 kilojoule let's proceed to energy energy can be defined as ability to do work and the SI unit of energy is also in joule and it is of different form that is we have mechanical energy electrical energy chemical energy heat energy solar energy etc but for the purpose of this uh class we are going to do more on mechanical energy mechanical energy has two types basically which are kinetic energy and potential energy potential energy is the energy exerted by a body at rest why kinetic energy are uh, energy of an object in motion potential energy pe is expressed as pe equal to mgh where m is equal to mass g equal to acceleration and h equal to height where we are kinetic whereas kinetic energy ke equal to half mv square where your m is mass and v equal to velocity let's look at this calculation Calculate the potential, calculate the kinetic energy of a car of mass 200 kg moving at velocity of 20 meter per second solution. K equal to question mark, that is what we are asked to calculate, mass equal to 20 kg and velocity is equal to 20 meter per seconds. Therefore, K E, which is half mv square is equals to 0 0.5 times 200 times 20 which is equals to 2000 joule and you can also convert that to which uh, to kilojoule which will be 2 kilojoule you get it let's proceed to power 
Power can be defined as the rate of doing work and its own SI unit is in watt. It can be expressed mathematically as power equal to work done over time, which is also equal to force times distance over time. Remember that velocity equal to distance over time. Therefore, power equal to W over T, which is work over time, which is also equal to force times distance over time, which is also equal to force times velocity. Calculation. Example. Calculate the power of a car traveling at 30 meters per second square per seconds with a force of 200 newton. Solution. Given velocity to be 30 meters per second, force equal to 200 newton, and power is power equal to uh, power is what we are asked ask to calculate. That is power equal to W over T and FD over T, which is also equal to force times velocity. Therefore, our power will just be force times velocity, which is 200 times 30, which is equal to 6,000 watts. Don't forget the unit is in watts, and you can convert that to become 6 kilowatts. If you divide 6,000 by 1,000, since 1,000 watts equal to 1 kilowatt. Let's look at the summary. Summary. Whenever a force makes a body move, then work is said to be done. But for doing work, energy is required. When work is done by human being, by human beings, machines or animals, they are they get energy from the food which they eat or from energy supplied by force uh, by force or by electricity so we can see conveniently that when work is done an equal amount of energy is used up and the rate at which the work is being done is referred to as power and from this we can see that work energy and power they are related to each other let me have your assignment before the next class just give me in your own words divine work energy and power stay we'll see in the next class